Hello, my name's Half Job George. Welcome to my workshop. In today's video, I'm going to be rebuilding some classic leaf springs from a series two. Now, a lot of the footage was filmed on my old camera, and before the lighting in my workshop was optimized for shooting YouTube. So please bear with me. It gets a lot better, I promise. As we start off the action, please take a moment to hit the like button as hard as I have to hit this rusty spring hanger. So hitting it's not working. Well, sometimes you just have to know when to admit defeat, don't you? Now, for those of you who have been screaming, use the grinder at your connected device's screen for the last minute, uh, that's exactly what I did. And next up is the age-old problem of getting your bushes out. Now, of course, this does involve fire. So I think what happened there was I heated up the end of the bush uh, which melted the rubber, slid straight through, hit the cold one and it stopped. So I'm going to heat up this one, hopefully it'll slide down. So, now we've got the bushes out of the way, the next part of the process is to bend the clips back. The clips are the part that hold the leaves together. The easiest way to do this is to use some heat, a lot of heat. You really need oxycetylene. I don't have oxycetylene, so I took a trip over to my dad's garage and I used his. And while I was there, I let him do it for me. He didn't seem to want to be filmed doing this, so I just took some pictures of the process. Basically, you heat the clip to cherry red, and then you hit it with a hammer until it moves out of the way. If you don't heat it up, it will snap. Now, point to note. Those of you who know your molecules will know that springs are heat treated, and heating them up again in an uncontrolled fashion as I've been doing with the bush removal and the clip bending is pretty bad for them. These springs aren't great. And I'm trying to save some money. They will get my chassis back on its wheels for now, but I fully expect to have to replace them. With that said, back to the next clip. Forward to the next clip? Not sure. Okay, so I've got these uh, clips bent back, and the next thing to do is to remove this clip, um, possibly this nut and the one at the bottom. Uh, and hopefully this whole thing should drop to bits.
sports car, this is not. Five sixteenths Whitworth, that is not. The WD forty. Just help break down the rust as it goes over the threads. Ah, so looks like uh, that's all quite compressed in there. I'm going to put that back on before it pings off and hits me in the face. Suddenly got a bit scared there. Um, I'll hold this in the vice in a different orientation. Just while I take that bolt off, so I've got a bit more control over how we release this. I'm not quite sure what forces are applying in which direction. My face might not be great for camera, but I am rather attached to it. Okay, so that's that then. Two front springs disassembled, ready for shot blasting. There really is nothing I enjoy doing more than sweeping my hard-earned cash up off the floor. Something I've been doing for the entirety of this project. Well, I unbuilt these springs a long time ago. Since then, I've bought myself a new camera, a new microphone, and a new light. That brings us up to the current day. Also, in that time, I've uh, shot blasted and wire wheeled all of the leads. If you haven't seen the video on me building a shot blast cabinet, go and check that out at the end of this video. And I've also given them a coat of zinc primer in black. Now I know that they are going to rub and rust is going to happen, but I couldn't just leave them. They'd all go orange. Right, let's spring into action. Right, well, I've never built a uh, leaf spring up before, so we'll have to see how this goes. Uh, I've had to re-tap a metric bolt here. Uh, I'm ashamed of myself for doing so. Um, simply didn't have 
a bolt long enough to wind all of that together. So I'm going to cut that off and bend those back with some oxycetylene, put some new bushes in, put the bolts across here, and that's going to be it. That's my front spring rebuilt, and that's going to get my chassis back on its wheels. This has been a Half Job George video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.